You're watching Pulse for the 18th of November and it's time for yet another quick Dota 2 news update. In today's update we see the addition of the explosive duo of the Alchemist and his Ogre Companion. Now I'm sure you all know the Alchemist from Dota already or from its Hon counterpart, but if you want a quick recap about its skills and everything else you can see Alchemist video preview right here on YouTube courtesy of the guys from Dota Cinema or alternatively you can have a look at Ycrim's image preview over on Reddit. The hero obviously looks like a lot of fun and I can't wait to try it out. There were a couple of extras mentioned along with this post but we'll discuss them in just a moment. Let's take a peek at the patch notes first. Now there were a couple of bug fixes and changes on heroes that are currently in the game. One of the biggest would be that they fixed a bug where the Sand King's epicenter was doing its ultimate scepter number of pulses regardless of level. That's pretty crazy, and that would have been very imbalanced if it had stayed like that. Then in a couple of other interesting changes, they've added a setting to disable screen shaking. You can obviously now pick Warlock in Captain's mode, and I assume with the next patch you'll be able to pick Alchemist in Captain's mode. Practice lobbies now appear on Dota TV, but they can be set to private if you so wish. It seems like they made a couple of minimap improvements. They've tweaked the dire tree shapes a little bit. They added more movement lines for Dazzle, Darkseer, Dragon Knight, Fury, Leon, Huskar, Ricky, Skeleton King, Slardar, Spectre and Jakiro, so they'll just look a little smoother now, and it seems like Jakiro's voiceovers were updated a little bit too. Then there were the usual bot fixes and updates as well. Honestly, I'm pretty happy for those though. I think a lot of people are playing against bots at the moment because it is a little bit more stressful playing against real players. And from what I've seen, the bots are actually pretty decent so far. So there's obviously more than I just mentioned here in those patch notes and you can see the full list linked below. Now I will also mention, as they do in this article, that they are really cranking the invites out now. Last time I was online, there were about 4,500 other players online too. That's pretty huge and it's more than double the amount that we had this time last week. So for all of you out there looking for keys, you might get lucky sooner than you know. Next up, one quick mention before we head into the smalls. An artist named Adam C. Beamish has an absolutely amazing blog up. He uploads images of Dota heroes that have been redone in his own style. As you can see on your screens right now, they are super cool, really clean, and they make awesome desktop wallpapers. Check that out, there are quite a few of them to have a look at and download already, and he's just putting out new ones every couple of days. Definitely a site you're going to want to check often and add to those favorites. Now in our quick Dota 2 smalls, the guys from the Cybersport Arena have just announced their Dota 2 Star Championship. With over $20,000 worth of prizes up for grabs, that's definitely one you're going to want to try follow. Then you can read how SK Gaming has signed their own Dota 2 team. There's an interview up with new Fnatic Dota 2 player Andre. You can read how E-Club is set to host a Malaysian Dota 2 Invitational. And lastly, you can have a look at a couple of live streams for the defense. Alternatively, at those same links, you can have a look at the VODs of past games too. Sadly, that's all I have for you in the Dota 2 news this week. Have a look at those latest patch notes, see the Alchemist in action, maybe download a few of those images for wallpapers. It's all in the links below this video. Remember to check back here soon for more, and most importantly, happy Alchemist and Ogre Companion.